let them go They keep stopping me from going where I'm supposed to go I don't know, it's like every single time Bitch, you running through my mind I be locked and loaded Hey everybody, happy, happy Wednesday Happy Wednesday um, Got here and we're working on a form Gotta fill this out for Ryan <clears throat> Um, doing a little early morning seminary, so again, getting to know um, kind of some spiritual learning. Um, stopped by the gas station, did a quick video um, that I'll that I'll clip here, um, and then um, did it on how to make friends. It came from a conversation that we we're talking to our boys yesterday because they're all in new schools. Uh, one entered high school, uh, so ninth grade. Next one entered is in middle school. The next one's in elementary school. The other ones too young for any school so um new new location and new new trying to make friends and so uh gave the highlights of uh how to make friends and um and so hopefully it's helpful hopefully it's helpful for you and so i'm just uh fill out this form so that i'd show you a little bit of that this morning Happy Wednesday, everybody. Sherm here, the Crazy Asian. So a lot of people have changed jobs, changed communities, changed colleges, and so now it becomes an opportunity for them to be able to get to know others, how to make friends. So I'm gonna give you Sherm's tips on how to make friends. Number one is to smile. Make it approachable. Nothing lights up a room like someone's smile. Number two, remembers people's names. The most common word that people like to hear and recognize is their own name. Number three is be interested, not interesting. Ask about people. Ask about what's going on in their world. How are they doing? Um, can, I, can I get to know you? Number four is control what's going on in your mind. Think happy thoughts. Happy perspectives, happy thoughts lead to happy outcomes. Stinking thinking won't get you there. Number five is actually listen. Two eyes, two ears, one mouth, using that ratio. Watch people's body language. Listen to what they're actually saying before you say something. Number six is to be able to look at your posture. Head up, shoulder up, eyes forward, give people good eye contact and smile. And then number seven is to be able to make sure that you're taking time to have fun. Try something new. You're out of your comfort zone. So you can kind of reinvent yourself, right? So if you just graduated college and now you've started your real job, guess what? Nobody knew what you were like in high school. Nobody knew what you are like in college. You can be authentically you and reborn you. If you decided to go to college, guess what? Nobody knew that you were a nerd in high school. You can be an outgoing individual. At the same time, remember, this is your personality. You don't have to be someone else. But if you want to meet one good friend, remember it's quality of, of relationships, not quantity, then get to know people. Smile. Remember people's names. Be interested, not interesting. Think, control your thoughts. Think happy thoughts. Listen. Two eyes, two ears, one mouth. But posture. Head up. Eyes, good eye contact. Smile. Shoulders back. Number seven, have fun. Good luck out there, everybody. Sherm's out. We're doing great. Uh, got Nate um, picking him up, built a carpool, get him on study mode. Um, it's a way from a part of the process of bringing people on board is they need a test, they need to pass an exam. And so we want to be able to have a more um, strategic approach at them getting um, the testing done and having having them come into the office, start being able to becoming a part of the organization. So that that's uh, that's the idea. So I have an interview coming in. So first things first, I want to be able to um, get settled, grab some water. I'm gonna do, do some curls today because it's, uh, it's that time of day. Get some curls in. And then, um, well, as we get all prepared for the upcoming interview, then just looking at the daily agenda, um, I was going to go out to a partner, kind of a center of influence, and meet up with them today as well. So I want to be able to make sure that <clears throat> I have it, have it on my calendar because I, I know I would confirmed it just via email, but I don't think I put it on the calendar. So I want to be able to make sure that it's on the calendar. And then uh, I'll keep track of the biceps for the day. And let's keep at it. Got the Crazy Asian podcast in. And there we are. We'll just finish these off. Just hammer curls. Let's go. All right, everybody. Had a very productive morning. Great uh, interview, then one-on-one, -on -one, and then interview, and then another one-on-one -on -one with, with the team. Uh, gonna go to HEB. Grab a, I got a little bit of a headache, so I'm gonna grab something for my head here. Um, and then 
uh, head back to the office, and head over to a partner here at three, kind of a center of influence, and uh, grab some a little bit of lunch. Hope you're doing great. Hey everybody, I have a little bit of a headache here, so I'm gonna grab some Tylenol, grab a little lunch here at the HEB. Here we are. Bam. Let's go. All right, so here we are. Office on San Felipe. We made some decent time over here. Uh, but before going, I gotta have a quick bio break. That's a, AKA urination station. Hey there, everybody. Hope you're doing great. Um, sons are at um, youth activities. So I am here getting in some steps, trying to stay healthy. I'm gonna do some lunges here, but I thought I'd warm up my legs first. Um, so it was a good day. Um, was able to have some great conversations. Um, you know, Nate and I actually get into some good topics of conversation was we were, you know, talking about, you know, just the, the ride home and talk about how sometimes people, they'll trade short term for long term. So they'll make decisions that only benefit them in the short term, not think about their long term engagement, what they want to accomplish. And then they, they wonder why they might feel um, dissatisfied, uh, unhappy, not enjoying life. It's because they made a short term term decision thinking that it's going to create some kind of long-term uh, happiness there are no shortcuts truly in building character and becoming who you want to be experience is still experience you can't fast forward it you can you can accelerate no, you can't fast forward it but you can experience greater depth but you're not gonna be able to say, hey, I have 10 years, of 10 years of experience and I got it in five. No, you got five years of experience in five years. It's just how it's gonna work. And so sometimes when it comes to the development of character, and that's kind of where we got on, was that a lot of times we're the one that, that holds ourselves back. We have these limiting beliefs of how our life should be. We base it on sometimes the premise of what others have told us, sometimes it's based on our own thoughts. Um, and a lot of times though, it's based on our our view, what we've seen in life, and that's what holds us back to ultimately getting to where we want to go. And so it came off of this conversation with Danielle, who when I uh, saw her working in a different role, uh, she just seemed like she was just really out of out of her element. But then when I saw her um, uh, back at her, her um, regular position, she was just vibrant and happy and um, and I find that a lot of times we push ourselves like a fish out of water and like a fish Let's say we're trying to fly. We're gonna find ourselves just falling short because we're a fish We're meant to be in water And so it's like the person that's an introvert wanting to be an extrovert And so they're forcing themselves to be someone that they're ultimately not like and they're trying to be someone else when what they should do is embrace who they are and find out where they should go so the, the bird doesn't try to swim, nor does the fish try to fly, but humans, for whatever reason, we try to do things that we're not designed to do. So if you're an introvert and you're analytical, then try to find those different relationships, those different organizations, those different careers that match with that personality. Instead of trying to be somebody you're not, now yes, there are some different weaknesses that you might want to become strengths, but go all in on your strengths first and allow those weaknesses either to get masked by your strengths or to allow it to change differently. So hope you're all doing great. Sherm's out. Meant to be, be true to you, a legend in the making, make the best of every moment. Cause nothing lasts forever, but forever I'll be focused. Focus on the now, now, never, it is my testimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my testimony. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to take all of you out. Nobody's safe, you're playing the safe.